Hey y'all, I'm back again with another YouTube video. Um, today's um, YouTube video is going to be a DIY, me trying out something that I've actually been wanting to do for a while that I've been looking like on YouTube or like on Pinterest. Pinterest, Pinterest is like the bomb. But like, yeah, I saw how they melted the crayons and I was like, dude, I need to try that. So the supplies you need for this DIY is you need a canvas for you to do your artwork. This is a 11 by 14. You can find these at Hobby Lobby, a craft store near you. And then you need crayons, as many as you want, I guess. Yeah. And then you need a blow dryer for when you start melting your crayons at the end after you're done gluing them. So you need glue, of course. And I actually got this at Walmart. It's really good. Um, it sticks on pretty good. And after it dries up, it, it turns clear so you can't see where exactly. And then... You need some a plat a platform, I guess, so when you start melting, it won't make a mess on the floor. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take out your crayons so you can access them easily when you start gluing them down onto your canvas. And so what I'm doing now is picking out the color I want to glue on first. And you can sort them out however you want to. They don't necessarily have to go from like dark to light or the other way around. You can be creative with it. And make sure when you glue them onto your canvas to glue them pretty close together and not leave like a big gap in between your crayons so you, you can see the white canvas in between them. And so, after you're done gluing your crayons, you want to wait for like 15 to 30 minutes for them to dry because you don't want your crayons to be falling out when you start blowing, blow drying them. Now onto the fun step, melting the crayons. Make sure when you start blow drying your crayons to have your canvas sort of tilted so it can drip down to the bottom of your canvas. Make sure to only apply the heat to the tip of your crayons for it to work properly and after you see that it's dripping you can start messing with it it takes a while for it to start um, melting it only takes like about 15 minutes for it to for your canvas to completely dry and so after it's dried up you can mess around you can add other stuff onto it like for example i'm adding sarai's name on it with regular paint acrylic or watercolor it doesn't matter and just make it your style okay so i finished and for someone who's not really creative i'm actually proud of this like yeah i'm so happy i'm gonna start crying but anyways i hope you guys liked this video enjoyed it um this was my first diy so i wonder how it went it was probably okay i kidding i probably messed up but anyways don't forget to give it a like thumbs up and yeah next time. hey y'all today Okay, hey y'all, I'm back again with an- Ooh, my ears, man.